sustainable pace, and it takes discipline to run at a sustainable pace. <laughs> now, here's the problem with pace. Here's your problem with pace. Here's my problem with pace. Here's everybody's problem with pace. Pace, next blank, is impacted by many factors. When I run in the mornings, weather impacts my pace. Hey, the, the, the road conditions, I've run on ice, and I'm telling you, I didn't do a nine minute mile running on ice because you're having to be cautious with every step because you don't want your foot to slide out and twist an ankle, bust a knee. And so you're having to be cautious if road conditions are different, if, if it's been wet or if it's gravelly, you gotta be really careful running in gravel uh, if you want your feet to, to survive. And so there's a lot of things that are gonna be conditions, they're gonna impact factors, they're gonna impact your pace, your energy level. If you haven't been eating right, uh, if you haven't been getting the proper amount of rest, then the next day your time is not going to be as good. Your pace is going to be slower uh, because of all these factors that impact your pace. Injuries impact your pace. If you've been hurt, if you've been hurt and, and you've got a bad bad wheel and your 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 knee is bothering you, I, I mean I've pushed through some significant pain when I ran. Uh, I, I remember falling one day and hurt my back, and I thought, man, I'm not going to be able to run. But I got out, and I started running, and I, I ran to the, down my driveway because I go to the road, and I run about, like I said, two, two and a half miles out, 2.2 miles out, 2.2 miles back. And so I, I said, I, I, I'm hurting really bad. My back is really hurting me because I had fallen on my steps in the ice. And it, I landed right here, and uh, it was it was a painful situation. So so I'm, I said, but you know what? I'm going to push myself. I'm going to try to run as much as I can. So I said, at least I can make it to the end of the driveway, which is maybe you know 500 feet. I don't know, long driveway. And so so I'm running, and, and I'm hurting, and you know it's just this ginger run. My pace is slow. It's slow, but I kept pushing. Believe it or not, that day I made it 4.4 miles. Uh, now granted, after the the first half mile was terrible. It was it was awful, and and, and then. Uh, your, your, your endorphins kick in and you think, hey, I don't feel as bad. You're able to make the run if you push through the initial pain. And it was that way for days and days and days and days, but I was consistent even though I had to run through some pain, but my pace was impacted. I didn't run as fast that day as the day when it's 50 degrees and it's sunshine, there's just a small brisk breeze blowing and, and, and the road is perfectly dry and clean. Those days, you can have some fantastic times. I've been on vacation, I've rented places, and I thought, man, I've got some great times. But it's, you know, when you're, on, when you're in a, a, a great environment, it's easy to run with a fast pace. It's when you're in difficult environments that your pace is going to be impacted. The same is true in our natural slash spiritual world. Everything around you is going to impact your pace. Wow. Everything around you is going to impact your pace, your yeah. life. Everything that's spinning in your world, your marriage is going to impact your pace. Right. The, 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 the people around you are, are going to impact your pace. Mm -hmm. The temperature of the atmosphere is going to impact your pace. There is so much in this world that impacts your pace. And here's the thing. Most of those conditions, we can't control. I can't control the weather. I can't control that. So much of what impacts your pace of how fast you can go at any given time is out of your control. And so what we learn to do, we learn to adjust to our conditions, okay? But what we've got to do is remember that we must keep moving forward, even if our pace is a little slow, because movement in the right direction is positive. What you can't afford to do is decide I'm not gonna run anymore. You can't decide that I'm getting out of the race just because I can't run as fast as I used to. If that were the case, once you hit your peak, which is probably for most men, it's gonna be in their, their probably 30s or 40s, once you hit your peak, then you would quit running because you're no longer going to be setting a lot of PBs. Your personal best, my personal best may be behind me. My fastest half marathon that I ever ran, I averaged 13.1 miles, 8 minutes and 42 seconds per mile. Uh, for me, now for elite runners, they were doing it half that time. But for me, that was my personal best. I, will, I may never run a 13-mile race at 842 again. That may never happen. I'm 54 now. That was probably when I was 40, in my mid-40s. And so at the end of the day, we have to understand that pace is impacted and it's by stuff that's typically not within our control. And for some of you, after hearing what I just heard, I want you to remember this quote from Dave Scott. Dave Scott's just not any runner. Dave Scott is a six-time Ironman triathlon world champion. That's the one I told you about where it's not the hour and 45 minutes that it takes. It's not the... 
It's not the one mile swim, it's a two mile swim. It's not the 25 mile bike ride, it's a 100 mile bike ride. It's not a six mile run, it's a 26 mile run that takes hours for these professional athletes to, to finish. And this guy has won that Ironman championship six times. It, they run it in Hawaii. It's, if you ever get a chance, if, if you ever get a chance to listen to it on the radio, it's really intriguing to, want to, to, to hear that, as, to hear their stories. It's really, really cool. And so, so anyway, he, here's what he said. He said, when, when I was in those, those moments, he said, I would repeat, he said, would repeat to himself during a race, I want you to remember this, do what I can in this moment. Do what I can in this moment. Whatever you're facing, you just do what you can at the pace that you can in that moment. Whatever it is you're facing, do what you can in that moment at that pace. Just keep going. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. Right? You just keep going. One step in front of the other. One foot in front of the other. Your toes are hurting. That's right. So you slow down. And you just put one foot in front of the other until the feeling comes back. You know, they're numb. They're, 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 the nerves are tingling. But you've just got to put one foot in front of the other and just keep making progress. But you do what you can in the moment. And so many things in our lives and in your world are out of your control. But what do you do? You do what you can. And it's amazing what you can do through Jesus Christ. Amen. Who strengthens Amen. us.